Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Ashley and Pete Travel. I'm with my mom again here in Carthage, Missouri, and we're here at the Precious Moments Chapel. I didn't even know this was a thing, so we're going to go inside. It's a little cold out. We're going to check this out and see what it's all about. Uh, welcome, old friends. Hello, new friends. Let's go on an adventure together. We are walking inside. So, quite a bit of precious moments. Lots of uh, lollipops, candy canes, oh, and a giant Christmas tree. And there's a guard tower guy. And a banjo guy. That is a gigantic She's huge! This is just like sweetness threw up inside of a building. Everything just looks so sweet and cute. So we have to go back outside for the chapel. It says this way to the chapel. So we're gonna go out those doors and check it out. The walk down to the chapel. There's just these little guys just randomly in the woods. The chapel is a short walk from the entrance. Why am I going this way? Because the chapel's right there. Yeah, I'm looking at the different architectures here of uh, precious moments. And looks like we've made it to the chapel. We beat the crowds too. <laughs> Thankfully, <laughs> it's not too crowded today. This is quite a door. Okay, oh my goodness. And here is inside of the chapel with all of the precious moments. So now I found out there's a second small little chapel um, right down here. Lots of precious moment scenes and there's some more little rooms down this way. And if we turn here, it's like a little mini memorial chapel with some more artwork. So Mr. Butcher painted this in the, it says, welcome home Philip, because his son passed away in a car accident in the 90, in 1990. Um, we had three small children and this was a memorial chapel dedicated to him. So a lot of this chapel is dedicated to those who have passed. And you can actually write in books to memorialize anybody that you know that has passed on and, um, you know, just a way to remember them and they keep all the books. So if you visit here in 20 or 30 years, that name will still be in that book of the person that you lost. Hello there. We have the parables to read on the left. You have the sower, the prodigal son, the good shepherd, the Pharisee and the publican, the good Samaritan, the pearl of the great price, and then the last one is that gospel of our rock. Just below that to see the four pictures the different seasons we have here in our area that little cabin is called Grandpa Island. Mr. Butcher built that for his grandkids when he first bought the property. At that time, he had 15 grandchildren. He now has 32 and 10 great grandchildren. So it sits out. So on the ceiling, he did this. Sam Butcher did this um, in you know the heat because there's no AC in here. One day, he just said, "I'm done." He started this head, painted it blue, and he goes, I'll get back to it. And 
never was able to get back to it. But you know what? He had a calling and he wanted to finish everything. So he painted everything else that you see in here. He started with the ceiling and he left that blue angel up there as a reminder to never give up. Right there. And right there, eating his favorite snack, popcorn, is Mr. Butcher. This is actually what it looked like before he even started. It was a sky blue wall and everything is painted directly to the wall. And this is in the process of it being painted. This is Mr. Butcher working on the picture painting of his mother with a turtle and a dove flying right in front of her. And you can see the clouds used to be blue and Mr. Butcher did not like that. So he went up there about eight years ago and actually painted them purple and that's how they look today so when he was 75 he decided he was going to paint the ceiling purple so he took scaffolding and went all the way up there and redid it it's a little bit more about sam butcher he was born in 1939 and he's in the chapel all right now we're heading back to my favorite spot the gift shop to get some Precious Moments figurines. Okay. <laughs> they have, they have uh, I think, one. I don't know. That might might have been an old one. Yeah, I, don't think that's open. I don't think it's open. Well, because there's we're the only people here right now. Okay. Back inside the Welcome Center. Thank you for spending your day at Precious Moments. We're going back into here. Just another little appreciation for this gumdrop cupcake tree. <laughs> now, I love this little area. It's so cute. Gonna go into the gift shop. Love a gift shop. So much precious moments and it's so precious. Oh, it's so soft and floofy. Oh my goodness, this is a very big gift shop. Look at all this stuff. Wow. Lots of stuff. Well guys, that's it for the Precious Moments Chapel. We went in the gift shop. We didn't really see anything that we really wanted. Um, it is just kind of a lot of Precious Moments stuff. We are more looking for things that are from the chapel itself, which they actually don't have too much of, but that's okay. If you're a Precious Moments fan or a collector, they have a whole bunch of really, really cool figurines. So, you know, if, you, if you're in the neighborhood of Carthage, Missouri or anywhere in Missouri, it is a really, really lovely place to stop. And it's a shame because there's not too many people that are here. In fact, we are the only ones here. It is a Monday at 10 a.m. That could be something behind it, but it's absolutely beautiful and highly recommend Precious Moments Chapel in Carthage, Missouri. All right, guys, until the next time, bye, and thanks for watching.